I hope all of us we are fine. Uh, as we discussed last week, I mentioned that I will be doing some of the tutorials on my own. Then after that, we will meet and discuss it on Tuesday. So I will do a couple of the videos to show us how we do the editing. And then probably on Tuesday or any other day, we can look at it if any of you is having a challenge. Okay. So I'm going to quickly do a recap of what we have done. I think what we did was to how to create the project. Okay. So I mentioned that you go to file new and then you go and click on project. So you give name to your project. Okay. So let me do it basic video editing two okay so that is the name and then i mentioned that you will have to group your files into one folder okay so you put them into one folder so that later if you want to uh, copy this file into another hard drive and use it on another machine you can easily do it so you can go into give the location where you want your file to be saved if you don't do it like that it will go to the automatic one that is document <laughs> yeah and you can see it here premiere pro yeah so it will appear here when you save it here okay but i will want to save it in videos okay so i've created a folder called videos so that's where i'm saving it yeah that's the only basic thing you need to know then you click on okay when you click on it you see that the interface will load for you to start importing your files okay now when you take your video it's very important to know the format you are taking okay if the file size or the resolution is higher you know that the size of your video that is in capacity will be higher so if i'm shooting 1080p automatically you know that your size will be higher and the size of the video when you load it, it will also be higher now i also mentioned that for organizing your video nicely it's good to create a folder if you are going to have different videos coming from probably different cameras or a video coming from the same camera so you have preparation wedding reception and all that you can group them into the various folder okay so for you to do that you just right click within the space here okay so first let me go first to the program so you have the program that is the program monitor whatever you are doing this way you see it we have the timeline and in some software they will say library okay and then you have the project session then here we have other uh, controls okay so you have the source video the effect control the audio mixer okay they are all there now the first thing to do is to create a folder you can right click to click on new bin or you click where you see the folder you click on it and you see it so i'm going to name this trailer okay then I double click on it to open it up. Now I also show that if you want to import a file or a video, you just click on file and then you go to import. Okay. Or you can double click within the space and then you go and look for your file. Or you can go and look for your file and drag it there. So I'm just double clicking here. Go to where I will see my video. Okay. So I have some uh, videos here. Um, Okay, so let me load this video into the trailer folder. So if I have other video from other scene, I can create a folder for them and put it them in. Okay. Now I mentioned that if you want to put your video into your timeline, you will have to create a sequence. Okay. So you go to file new and then you create a sequence. Now they will give you an option to select the size of the file okay so you have 1080p 24 there there's something called frame, frame rate so frame rate per second is 24 uh, is then we have 25 we have 30 so you depend on what you shoot with your camera you can choose any of them but what i normally do is that i don't create my sequence from here i will just pick my first video because it's the same camera i'll pick one of the video from here okay and then put it on the timeline okay so you see that it will load your setting and everything to be the same so you don't have to go and create 
a sequence so now i can easily play my video okay and then do whatever i want then i will pick another video and put it in the timeline okay so i'm going to cut now the tool you can use to cut is the razor tool you see here you can see the razor tool or you can use c and then to select the razor tool so if i want to cut this beginning the portion out, i can just select the razor tool and then click U using this case or oh, uh, yes the, this one this line to guide me okay so you can use it to guide you so when you play that's why it's going to move and then when you stop it's going to stop there if i want to play i just pr press the space bar okay then my video will play this is just a recap i'm doing okay then i can just delete the file okay it's gone now you can see there is a space here so what you can do is that before deleting you can right click and click on repo delete and then to push the other video in or when you delete it then you can right click within that space to repo delete it okay then you have this another way to also cut the video is just to send your case to the end of the video and then you drag it in or you drag it from the beginning then you have it cut okay so for example if uh, i want to take that beginning portion of uh, i think i'm yes this is what i want then it ends here then i push it in okay then i can click within the space to delete on the keyboard just press delete on the keyboard okay delete and then your file will will push okay then i have this uh, video okay so let me just cut few of the video so it's just a matter of um, moving your case to left or right okay so your video will cut automatically uh, yeah i have this okay so yeah i can also pick the just the video and push it towards there So I have that. So you pick your videos that you want. Okay. I don't want all that beginnings. It's, it seems a little boring. Okay, so I'm going to play. Yeah. Remember, I'm doing trailer. So the sound and the background, I'm automatically going to. Uh, not automatically, but I'm going to take them out. You can leave it if. The sound is what you like at the bottom. Okay, so there is a music going on at the background, but you can see that uh, the vid the photographer that is me talking plenty. Okay, so. Okay. Uh, let me do it to 30 seconds. The reason why we use 30 seconds is just because of the status. So if you are within 30 seconds or one minute for Instagram. Okay, so yeah. I don't like this. Let me just take that one out. Um, Someone's on is showing that video. So, yeah, I think. Uh... Okay, so I will just use this. Now, at the beginning, you can't hear the sound because uh, it was outside and nobody's probably talking. There is no sound there. So, you will not be able to hear sound. But as we move inside and then you have a Yes, sound. Okay, so this is it. So this is how you do uh, arrangement for your video. Okay, this is how you do the arrangement. We've gone through all this, so you can see this is the timeline. So you have the video one, you have the audio one. So this is how it is. If I have another video that I want to put in, probably it's going to be here, so I can put it on video two okay 
I just want a little portion of that to come in. That's when, yeah. Okay, so you see, yeah. So I can delete it and remove it. Or yes, so if I have, you see, I have arranged this already. So instead of creating a space and putting it, I'll let it go on top. So you can add so many video on each other into infinity. The same with the audio. Okay. Now, for example, if I want to mute my audio during this process, I can just press the mute uh, button here. You see the M, you press it. When you play, you will not hear any sound. Now, how do you bring in audio? You bring in audio the same way you are bringing in your uh, videos. Okay, the same way you imported the video. So I'll go back to my project, create a bin and name it audio. I want to group it so that uh, I can easily have access to what I want. So let me see if I can get some um, the uh, audio that I downloaded. Okay. Yeah. So I will just pick the audio and put it on audio three. Remember there is an audio here. We will not even be using it. Okay. So you can. Uh, now you can see the spectrum of the audio. I can see that there is no sound here. So I will. Go to the side and push it in just to cut that portion out. Now I need to put this so you can hear the sound from it. So I need that Okay, so I think this is where the video ends, so the sound should also end it. So I'll just press, what I did now is just to press the C and cut the portion. Let me undo it. You see, and then you see that it's giving me even the guideline where to cut. Okay, so I just cut it there. Then I select, use the selection to this, the selection to, to select the file, and then I can uh, delete it. So you can see that this is a nice video. Maybe if you don't put transition in it, now we also look at transitions okay now apart from this audio that uh, muting the audio over here by pressing the and what i sometimes do that you can uh, right click on the video okay now see what's happened if i right click on it or even if I select, you see that it select both audio and video. But there's a way you can separate the audio from the video. So you just right click on it. And then you go to unlink. Okay, when you do it that way, you can only select the audio and you can only select a video at a time. Okay, so I can just select the audio and delete it. Then that audio will be gone. Now remember that we don't need that audio. There's no way we're going to use that audio anywhere. So you can also do it that way if you don't want to mute on this line. Okay, sometimes we do it when the address of the video are going to have the sound of the video so if you activate the mute button it's going to affect the entire thing so sometimes we want to separate the sound from the video and then delete the sound okay from the video now uh, one other thing we look at is transition transition is just how the video move from one to the other okay so how does it come in i personally as i mentioned like the video to have some soft dissolve okay so that's what we call the cross dissolve but uh, and then cut in so this is a cut in video it's just more straight to the yeah i like this i like simplicity but if you want to uh, bring in different stylish transition you know different type then you can look for the transition okay so now we can see that the effect is not here okay so what you have to do is that you click on the double arrow here okay then you can see the effect here then you click on it so you see we have uh, some folders here our interest is the video transitions okay so yeah i will click on the that arrow so it's going to drop down then i'm interested in this dissolve okay 
so i like this one so that's the first one i'm going to use cross this off so i can select it and then put it in between my video i'm using this first to so see what happens see how you can double click on it to uh, yeah change the time it is like one second so you can do it two seconds so it means it's going to take a time to uh, do the transition okay it's not going to be faster and if you want it faster you can decrease the the time okay so you can just maybe go to two so you see that it has increased and so you see that it's going to delay to fade yeah you can look for a lot of them that are here i think let me use the zoom i like zoom cross zoom has it on effect see what happens so that's nice there are other ones i personally don't like them but if you think the project you are working on you need them you can use them especially um, the slide and the peel and all that okay so let's look at this one so yeah so it will be good to go and uh, look at them and see how uh, it comes out for you so we have uh, yeah. so, this, this. so that is where the video transition comes in okay you just put them in between each of the video just to have it uh, coming point one video is going to into the another one how the effect is how it can change okay so you can use any of these ones from the video transition now also look at the audio transition where i say that you can use some of that i think i use the exponential fade at the end of my video now when the sound reach there it will just fade down okay so sometimes i even use it from the beginning so that it will not be like the sound is just coming too high okay, so you see that there is a little delay it's very slow and then it progresses it progresses Okay, so you can see this is a very simple video editing I have done right now. I imported the files and then I use my transition. I cut the ones that I don't want. I cut them out. Then I have uh, the audio imported. So I imported the audio, cut the audio from the beginning because the beginning there was no sound. Okay, so I cut it, put in transition. That is the exponential fade. So that uh, once it starts, it's not going to be so harsh. It's it's going to progress okay so yeah this one we have. now with this i think i i mean people will probably have loved what i have done okay the next thing is probably to put in uh, some text okay some text now premiere pro recently changed their text okay so now they have what we call graphics so there is something called gra uh, motion graphics template. There are templates that are being created by people. Okay, so I can also create a template. You, in you install it and then you can use the template, especially when it comes to uh, Lua text. Okay, so you can use all that. Okay, I think the last time I tried showing us how to use that by going to the new layer. Okay, then you go to text and then your test comes in but i think i want to show you the older one that we normally use yeah i'll show you that one and then later i'll show you the new layer the use of the new layer one okay so if you want the audio uh, i say audio sorry if you want the text okay if you want the text you click on file the old version of um Premiere Pro, you see text, so you see text, and then you can go and add your text. But now it's been duplicated, so you go to File, New, then you look for what we call Legacy Title. Okay, then you click on it. Okay, so 
this is the size of my video i'm using 25.00 frame rate per second okay so i mean this the title will automatically come with a name title 01 so you can give it a name for you to be able to import and insert it into your timeline easily if you look at the name so let me say um big let me uh, how am i going to name this um so let me just name it first okay so that's my first caption now a dialog was to open so you can see the video and then uh, then now i'm supposed to see uh, text within this portion okay so let me quickly move to the side and see if it's there if it's not there then i will look for the tools okay so this is the tool so you click on the this is the bar it's a bar you click on it and you click on the tools then you can see the tools here okay so you can have a rectangle or well, let me just say the shape okay you have the shape and then you have the text okay so for example if i want to name them and i want the, it, the name to be on the rectangular a rectangular shape i can just draw it like this okay um let me see if uh, properties okay so yeah properties going to give me the property of whatever uh, object i have drawn if it's text or uh, the rectangle shape so this is the color of the rectangular shape i can do it any color i want so i want to be black and i don't want it to too solid like this okay solid i want it transparent a little so i'm going to reduce the opacity okay so the opacity helps you to make uh, anything transparent you can apply opacity to your video okay so you can put one video on the other and then bring down the opacity and then you'll be able to see uh, what is behind that video okay so I think uh, with this uh, opacity reduce, I can now uh, put in my name. So what do you do? You just click on the T here. That's the type tool. Okay, click on it. Then I can give it an So let me just write our wording. Now what is happening is that the last text, the last object I I, I use I use black so you can see it's maintaining the black okay so I can come in here with the property and change the color to let me just say white okay opacity will be 100 percent now you can see yeah you can see how it's showing uh, I want to change the font so I'm using honest darling yes it's a stylish font i know some of them offer it okay then i want to bring in some shadow yeah so i select the shadow so see the difference you see there is some shadow and the shadow is 50 percent so i'm doing 100 percent okay then you can play within the angle so you can see how it's coming out okay so yeah now remember when i finish this and i know that this is what i want i will close it then i go to my uh, project yeah so you see the name i've given it first we see so i can pick it and put it on the timeline so you can put it at any portion of the timeline okay so if i want this to take to uh, v3 i will let it be on v3 Okay, so when you play the video. now I, I mean this text i want it to come darker i want it to fade in and fade out so i'm going to use effect okay so yeah i come to the video effect and then i go to so i'm going to use deep to black so it's going to be black uh, okay this is affecting my entire video so let me use the cross dissolve and see so you see how it comes in so i probably want
want to write the name of the couple there. So I'll go to file. Um, legacy title. Okay. Um, so I'll do it. Law. Lawrence. Okay. So the when you can't see the two bar, you click on the bar the tools, then it will come. So I'm going to write uh, Lawrence and uh, Lori Loretta. Okay, so I can drag it. Okay, when you use the selection, you can drag it. The 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 size is here. You can reduce the size from here. You can you know this is the property. You can reduce the size. So probably I want it this way. Do I want the stylish? Let me still use the honest uh, darling and see. Okay. So this is what I have. I will go to my project. Okay. So this one, which is the first, is showing the audio folder. The other one is in the trailer folder. So you can create a folder for title and then. When you select it before you go and add, you see that it will appear there. Okay, so um, now you can see this is the time it's going to take. Okay. So I don't want it to enter the other one, so I'll drop it, I'll cut it from that end. to probably say that is this video was done by Encomedia. I'll go to the legacy test again. Uh, yeah. I now you can see the title is there. I didn't change it so it's title three. I can close it and go back to it. I don't want this video showing I want it to come out so it's in the black. So I double click on it again then it will open. Then I go to tools so even the style when you go to style you see that they give you some options but i like creating my own so i go to two then i will type in caps lock and call media probably if i have a logo i'll bring in a logo okay so i put it here if i want a logo here what do you do you have to draw a rectangle okay then uh, i'll bring in the properties of the rectangle this is so the fill type i will let it be uh, let me use the ghost the fill type okay let me go to uh, the graphic session and then come to graphic okay so when you select graphic you see that they will give you a graphic path then i'll select it and go and look for uh, a logo let me use one this logo that's what i can see here so you can see it's it's shrink a little so i'll push it up for the logo to show so let me just probably i mean this is the test you can also do uh, yeah so if i have this so let me see i can double click on the comedy to continue writing so 2021 then i'll reposition the wall okay once you are done you pick it and put it at the end of the video so now what happened the video the song i cut the song and i need it to end with the title so i will just drag it out you see, so you can come out. Then I will go for my uh, effects deep to black. Okay, so for that, I need white. Let me do deep to black. Okay, 
okay so this is what uh, you you have now the most important thing when you finish editing okay for example if i done this and i'm okay i've seen that the color the brightness and everything is correct okay uh, we'll look at how to increase brightness make it a video darker if it's too bright okay later but basically for us to see the files that we are working on or for you to be able to send it to me we'll look at how uh, you can export this file okay so if you want to export this file you just click on file okay then you go to export then um, it brings so many options okay um, the ones we use mostly is the media okay we use the media and then there's supposed to be an encoder if i install the encoder you see the encoder somewhere okay so i open a dialog box then uh, this is the format okay this is the format mostly we use uh, i don't want the preset to match so so i will select the size so i think i'm okay with the quality of 720 even though the video is uh, 1080p i will select yeah the video is 1080p so i will select i won't select the 1080p now what it means is that when i export this file the size okay let's look at the 1080p look at the size the 78 megabyte when i select uh, 720 you see that this is 40 megabyte and even this the size is big okay so what i'll even do is that i'll give it a name and then i'll come and reduce this size because if you want to send this to somebody on whatsapp and it's more than 60 megabytes it won't go and people want to be economical with their data okay so output name how what name you want to give it i want to give it law it's loretta and you know so and i know where i'm saving it so i i click on save now this is the size the width and the height okay now how do i reduce the size here remember when you reduce the size you are reducing the quality okay so i drag in you can bring this down now when you bring it i see the size is reducing but remember the quality of the video will also be affected okay but i mean i reduce the size because people if they are going to play it on the phone will not have the challenge with the quality of the file but if i'm going to upload the video on youtube on any other platform that i need quality then i will maintain it at the 10 and then the 12 so i will not even change it so i just bring it down and uh, yeah so if i think 12 is okay yes now earlier on i mentioned that there should be uh, an encoder i think they remove it and put it here where you queue so when you click on the queue it will uh, rather send this to an encoder where uh, a different software is going to take over to do that i don't know if i have i have it installed but what i normally just use it to export it using the export button so you click on export and then you see that they they will tell you your video is encoding made that it takes a little time depending on the how la uh, long you if you have 30 minutes it's going to take less than uh, more time yeah. so going to have quality it's going to be a quality video as compared to 720 but i mean most of the standard tvs play 722 you will not see a difference okay so uh yeah let me go and look for the file at video so you should, yeah so this is my exported file so you can see the size is 11.9 but if i'm going to put this on a pen drive for somebody i will maintain the size i don't reduce the size <laughs> So that is how you are able to uh, import your video, put transition on them, import uh, your audio, that is the sound, 
not just sound like let's say music or any other sound that you want to play along with your video especially if you're doing trailer but if it's probably a church program that the pastor is preaching you don't need to add sound i mean the the sound that comes with the video is what you need to do, use unless you recorded a sound separately then with that one you can now align the audio with the video okay and then when you finish that you add your title you add your transition you add your title and then you can export your file and you have it here so the when you are exporting make sure you you check if you want 720 or 1080 1080 is going to have a higher quality but the size will be bigger as compared to the 720 okay so when you finish you want to also reduce the size further you can go in to reduce the frame rate and all that uh, not the frame rate the bit rate and then you see the the size of the file uh, reducing okay so when you have any question when we meet we'll, we'll look at it okay when you have a question when we meet we'll look at it i will do another tutorial to also look at the effect that is the video effect if you want to work on brightness and color of the video we'll, we'll also be looking at that thank you very much